Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. and Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Would you look at this, this shirt real close? I was loving the colors and had little sparkles in it, but I'm never wearing it again. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> it keeps getting caught in this wig. <laughs> I've been fighting it for the past hour. So just get a good, just get a good look. I was loving this. Oh, the colors are so nice. Hmm. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Let's get this hug in. Let's get, let's get this hug in. It's time for the big hair, the curls, and the scoop. We're going to take some time to remember actor Matthew Perry. It was real shocking when the news came down that he passed away. 54 years old from an accidental drowning. Best known for playing Chandler Bing on Friends, that show ran for 10 years. Matthew Perry had a lot of demons. And he wrote about it in a book, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. The Big Terrible Thing was his addictions, whether it was drugs, prescription drugs, alcohol. He had did it all, and he talked about it in this book. So many people were surprised. HBO Max, they ran this Friends reunion, and it looked like he was lifing. When I say lifing, like he's been through life, and you could tell because he just looked different from everyone else. In the book, he would say, I'm grateful to be alive. There was one part where he says, I'm broken, I'm bent, I'm unlovable. He really opened up about addiction and he said he didn't want to be remembered for friends, but he wanted to be remembered for helping others. So often when people go through an addiction, whether it's drugs, prescription drugs, alcohol, sometimes you're grateful because you're taking it one day at a time. Because you know you could relapse something, a trigger, and you can go back at any time. And it's hard. It is hard to fight an addiction. Sometimes you may wonder, but you're rich and you're famous and you should have it all. But when you say things like, I'm broken, I'm bent, and unlovable, he had never married. And I think every relationship he had been in, whether it was a high-profile relationship with someone famous or just a regular girl. That drug addiction or alcohol addiction got in the way. He had been in and out of rehab. He doesn't remember three seasons that he filmed of Friends. And he says he never watched the reruns because he could always tell, I was on cocaine. Ah, uh, that was opioids. Ah, uh, that's alcohol. A sad story, and we won't be able to find out what happened. Because when you go through those toxicology tests, it takes weeks. But they say it was an accidental drowning, but what led to it? They did find prescription drugs in his home. So I guess they have to weigh a lot of stuff. But his body was released to his parents. But Matthew Perry really opening up the battle with addiction and how hard it is. And he was always there to help people because he had been through it himself. But he will be remembered. That book, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. I'm sure it'll shoot up to the bestsellers list because people are going to either go back and get it or go back and reread it. But he did really struggle with addiction. We also lost actor Richard Mall. He was on Night Court. He was in a lot of crazy movies, but then he hit his stride with the TV show Night Court, and he passed away over the weekend at the age of 80, and he leaves behind two children. It's a very special birthday for a legend. We're talking about Dr. Otis Williams. Otis Williams of The Temptations, the last surviving original member. Oh, he's often joked about Temptations movie. Otis ain't nobody here to see you. But he was the glue. And he runs that group. And if you proved to be too much, he would put you out of the group. And he put a lot of people out of that group. Most notably, you David Ruffin. I know he had run-ins with Dennis Edwards. Whereas he wasn't the lead singer, he ran the show. And if you, you know, you 
was acting up. Otis going to put you out of the group because he was the glue and he's seen it all. And with those original members who have died off, but there's Otis still going strong. Dr. Otis Williams, legendary group. And uh, he got stories to tell. Otis Williams of the Temptations. Happy birthday. <sighs> More trouble for Jonathan Majors. Before, at the beginning of the weekend, I talked about he's got to go to trial for what he, the assault with the ex-girlfriend. He's got to go to trial. That arrest with the girlfriend was for show. She ain't going to be charged with nothing. But he had a movie coming out called Magazine Dreams. It was about bodybuilding, steroids, and Disney has pulled it from the lineup. So we may not see any kind of new projects until next year. You got to see the outcome of this trial. Has Madonna hit the road too soon? You know, she's on a very grueling 72 city tour celebration, a celebration of her incredible career. But it is proving to be taking a toll. People are wondering, will she have to stop it to rest? Because she almost died this year. The tour, they say, is grueling. Millie Vanilli, a lot of you checked out the documentary. Wasn't it good? I'm telling you, when I recommended this, I said, this documentary is not only amazing and a cautionary tale about the music business, but it was sad. I found myself getting sad because they were used. They were put out there. They know they ain't sing them songs. And then when the scandal hit, everybody went running and they left them out there to dry. An amazing documentary, The Millie Vanilli Story. It's streaming on Paramount+. Plus. This Friday, it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The class of 2023 inductees include, I'm doing this on top of my head, Missy Elliott, George Michael, Kate Bush, Sheryl Crow, country legend Willie Nelson, Shaka Khan, Don Cornelius, the founder of Soul Train, DJ Cool Herc, the father of hip hop, and Bernie Taupin, who wrote many great songs with Elton John. What makes this class incredible? Because I had someone said, why well, take them so long to put Shaka Khan? When they started adding hip-hop artists to the Rock Hall of Fame. R&B artists had to take a back seat. They did. They had to just take a back seat. And you got your M&Ms in and LL Cool J and Jay-Z and Public Enemy. They're deserving. A Missy Elliott is deserving. But don't overlook R&B. And I'm so glad. And, you know, they had to create a special award, you know, for Shaka Khan. But she is deserving. That great voice, but there are so many that are not in. Patti LaBelle, Aunt Dion, Dion Warwick. I don't think Johnny Mathis is in. I'm just talking about just great singers. Natalie Cole, Sade, Luther Vandross. The boy bands are coming. I think with New Edition doing this ABC special, watch they get nominated to be in the Rock Hall of Fame. I can feel it because you're going to have a wave of boy bands. Destiny's Child is about, I think they've been in the business 25 years because you got to be in 25 years. <laughs> I bet you Beyonce get in there on the first try if they if they don't do Destiny's Child first. There's a lot of controversy with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You're pure, you're rock purist. Don't want these other acts in there. They're like, it should be rock acts. I, I wish they would just call it the Music Hall of Fame, but it's not. It's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and it's one of music's highest honors, and it's hard to get in. I think Dion's going to get in next year, but Chaka Khan, it's an honor. Oh, my God, how could I forget? The Spinners did a big special on them last night on our on our oldies radio sh uh, show that we do Sunday nights on DAS. Uh, the Spinners, those great songs. Tom Bell, Linda Creed wrote great songs. And the Spinners are, are getting inducted after a very, very long time. But R&B acts had to take a back seat. So now I guess they're seeing, okay, we're going to do a little hip-hop, but we're also going to honor R&B artists who've made a great contribution to music. But it airs Friday night, Disney Plus, New Home, 
Barclays Center in New York. Check it out if you can. It's going to be an ABC special with Elton John, a new edition, and many others. Her that's going to air on ABC in January. This is the week, my final week in my 50s. I turned 60 over the weekend, and I have to say these past 10 years have been transformative. I remember when I turned 50, and I said, I wonder what's ahead the next 10 years. I, I do that. I'm like, I wonder what's 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 ahead. Well, child, life was what's ahead because I lost my mom. I took care of her for many years. For over 25 years, I took care of her. I had a stroke two weeks after she died. I had to rebuild my life. I had to learn how to walk again, write again, use this because this whole side, it went out. I lost my vision, and I had to really, like, rebuild my life. I remember when it happened and crying and saying, what happened? Why? Why did this happen to me? And I realized I spoke very clearly. You know, I, I talk for a living. That God didn't touch the voice. Everything else was messed up, but the voice was right there. And I said, God, you get me through this. I, I will spend the rest of my life talking about when you care for your loved ones and how you must care for yourself. I know sometimes, most of the time I come here, I'm silly, but today I'm, I'm a little serious. You must take care of yourself. Caretaking or caring for a parent is very hard. It's very hard watching your parents go through an illness and die in front of you. I never wanted to say I was depressed because I wanted to be that happy girl. You don't make you laugh. I broke after my mother died. You know, when nobody would help me, you know, I'm Scorpio. I'm like, I do it myself. I got this. I got this. My favorite line was, I got this. <sighs> Boy, did my life change. I was in an environment <laughs> that I knew nothing about being in the rehab center. But God put me on a different path. Once I started getting my, my steps together, and it took me a long time to learn how to walk again. I swear I've fallen more time than Carter got built. But I would get back up. God put me on a new course. Once my vision came back, I'd always dreamed of being on a billboard. But didn't come through radio. The rehab center said, we want you to be our spokesperson. Child, me and this forehead and nose was everywhere, on, on every highway and just and just, and just everywhere. Um, I started making videos. It was like God said, take your phone, put it up and talk into it, and tell your stories and talk pop culture and entertainment. This wasn't my vision when I first started because I'm a radio girl. I'm a radio girl. I work for iHeart in Philly, the great radio station, WDAS. But videos were not part of the story or the what I wanted to do. But God had other plans. And he's had other plans for me for a long time. And I learned to let go and go with it. When I was losing my hair, Traction, alopecia. <laughs> y'all funny because most of y'all told me, you're losing your hair. So we switched up. <laughs> we found some wigs, some were good, some were bad. And I said, we're going to have big hair curls and scoop. We're just going to go with it. God has really opened up doors that I only dreamed about. I was a good daughter. I was a good daughter. Never take it in vain when you have your parents. If you're lucky enough to have your parents, love them. Love that loved one in your life, that older person who could give you guidance. I know everyone's family situation, it could be difficult. There could be a lot of tension and trauma. But if you're lucky enough, and I promise you I won't cry, 
If you're lucky enough to have your parents, love them. And if you're caring for a loved one, please take care of yourself. I didn't. They asked me the last time I drank water and I couldn't tell them. Because I was surviving on, you know, caffeine and being that, ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. I had a stroke and didn't even realize it because I was so used to running, running, running. Take care of yourself. There is a blessing in taking care of your parents and loved ones. Oh, it may seem like it's unnoticed and no one notices it and that you're all by yourself. But God sees. He brought me through a time. I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself. I couldn't wash myself. You get humbled real quick when somebody got to help you go to the bathroom, I swear. But these 10 years have been transformative. He's taken my life and shook it like a tree. And I noticed people fall off, just fall off. Because I'm, I'm learning to accept that he's got me on this path that everybody can't go or everybody can't understand. I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about turning 60. It's going to be a whole new chapter. And I've got some incredible things that I want to do. I'm not leaving radio. I hate when people ask me that. I said, y'all know I ain't going nowhere. I said, I love this. I love music. I love telling a story. And I thank you for letting me come into your lives and making me a part of your lives. I've learned with this ups and downs, do's and don'ts. I've offended some people in my lifetime. And I apologize. When you learn to accept the path that God is having you on, Accept it. Accept it. These past 10 years have been, I'm telling you, when I was 50, I remember saying, I wonder what's going to happen to me next. Ciao. <laughs> I know most of you, you know, you come here and, and, you, and you're used to me being silly. I'll go back to being silly tomorrow. But take care of yourselves. Embrace life. Be kind to someone because you don't know what they're going through. But take care of yourself because your health is your wealth. And you never feel it or believe it until something happens. I love you guys. The channel is growing. It's growing organically. I can't wait to get my little book. But I thank you for going on this adventure because no one taught me. I had people to show me, but no one was like teaching me these streets here. But it's curls, it's scoop, it's big hair, it's wisdom, it's life. I love you guys. It's not cute not knowing. And now you know. Thank you. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.